Welcome to episode 110. Are these comics going to make good film and television shows? We got Wonder Woman by Tom King. We got Ultimate Black Panther. And we have the conclusion of Cobra Commander. Let's check them out right now. All right, everybody, thank you so much for spending some time with me as we rant about comics. I am your host, Frank Zanka. I'm an award-winning screenwriter, novelist, and comic book writer. And uh, we're here to commentate on some of these comics and see if they uh, make the bill when it comes to possibly reaching the silver screen in the future. Uh, but before we do, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, also, if you're a fan of monsters or card games we did launch myth lords classic monsters uh it is a card game with art by mark spears he's done plenty of uh, comic covers uh it is uh launched on backer kit we are fully funded and the description uh below has the link to backer kit uh where you can sign up and pre-order yours now all right, so without uh, any further ado, let's jump into uh, Wonder Woman by Tom King. Uh, the artwork on this is absolutely amazing, which is the only reason why I'm still collecting this, because the story is horrible. <laughs> I mean, horrible. So this is a about the Sovereign who has the lasso of lies, and he's controlling, has always controlled the United States from the behind the scenes. And we don't even know how he captured Wonder Woman, but suddenly she was just captured. And this started because a Amazonian uh, killed some guys in a bar. And we don't know who really it is. We, we have seen some flashbacks of her, but... And for all we know, it could be even be Trinity's mother. We d I really don't know. His story's been all over the place. Then Wonder Woman had to fight the U.S. government uh, army. And there's, you know, Flag or Sergeant Steel, whatever the guy's name is. She's battled him. I mean, this, this story has been all over the place. And now we're with the Sovereign. So... And the Sovereign forced uh, another guy to kill himself by with the lasso of lies. This is complete garbage. I mean, complete garbage. But the artwork, I mean, just check out this artwork. It, I mean, it is phenomenal. So in the last one, you know, he had her tied up and she was seeing herself be a uh, some kind of uh, a domesticated woman and... Trevor was treating her like complete crap, so down with the patriarchy thing, but it was all in her head. That's not how he would, uh, you know, actually be. And now in this one, she's going to him for moral support in her head because she's locked up in solitary confinement. I mean, it's, it's junk. I mean, it's just complete junk. So this entire book is purely her mind... Uh, seeing him in a variety of ways to try to keep herself sane. Uh, you know, she even, you know, turns his head on backwards like she did with um, Ma Maxwell Lord when, you know, she had to get arrested there when she had killed him. Uh, you know, she's on, you know, it's just a whole bunch of talking uh, to, to Trevor. I mean, I really love this page. I think that is, you know, phenomenal. I think, you know, the fact she's a little tall on him is pretty funny, too. You know, she sees Superman. It's just nonsensical, nonsensical. I mean, we can just keep going on and on about how nonsensical this is. And, you know, normally we get the point within, you know, two or three pages. We get the point that she's trying to be, uh, you know, trying to keep herself sane. But no, we have to keep going through 22 pages of her trying to keep herself sane. I, I was insane by the time I finished this. It's like, all right, uh, oh, Steve, I'm, I'm doing this. Oh, Steve, I'm doing this. Oh, Steve, I'm doing this. I don't know how long I can last. He's trying to break me. I ate a rat, blah, blah. And it's true, he did. She ate a rat. And it's just like, and, and then she, te she tells him that, she saw all of these movies from America 
Aunt Themyscira and she was reading books for America. Bullshit. Bullshit. How is she reading books and seeing movies? Did they have a projector at Themyscira? Did they have VCRs? Where's the power coming from? They, they don't have generators there. Everything's Greek God related. Tom King has absolutely no idea what he is writing. Just none. And then we get to this ending, right? Where we actually then see her in there and she, they tell her to open the door. Why didn't she use her super speed to get out of there? Why doesn't she overpower them? There's just no reason whatsoever. And then we get this backup story of Trinity here, whatever her name is. And uh, Superboy and Damien have been turned into corgis from Cersei. And it lasts a whole month, and then they turn back. So it's just a cute little story of them being corgis. Whatever. Uh, trash, except for the art. The art is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I've never seen Wonder Woman drawn as well. Can we get somebody that understands the character to come in? Somebody that has some kind of cohesion of story? My God, man. How much are you getting paid to write out this drivel? God, can you just quit? <laughs> can somebody just pay him not to write? <laughs> All right, let's move on to Ultimate Black Panther, uh, number four. Uh, that's This is number eight, by the way. He's oh, number nine. He's been writing that for nine issues. Can you believe it? So anyway, this continues on from uh, the ultimate side where supposedly there are no superheroes, but this doesn't fall into that at all. Uh, T'Chaka, which is T'Challa's father, is murdered. We find out that there's some kind of infiltrator, some kind of betrayer inside the Dormelage, possibly, and things to that effect. Uh, and... T'Challa has met up with Killmonger and Storm, of which they changed Storm's hair for whatever reason. Why in the Ultimate Universe does she look different? I have no clue. Uh, but anyway, she does. And she's supposed to, according to the prophecy that the uh, uh, something Khan, the Voodoo Khan said, that she's, he's supposed to, uh, that Storm's supposed to you know, bear him a child. Uh, but meanwhile, he's married to... Um, a Sorke, or whatever her name is, um, uh, Okoye. So, uh, and the artwork here is pretty decent, too. So, uh, but now she, now T'Challa's missing because he's hanging out with those guys, and we're, they're try he's trying to figure out what to do. But then uh, Okoye feels something on her cheek, and she has enough time to feel this thing on her cheek and get out of the way before... She gets slammed. I don't really get how that happens. Uh, but anyway, uh, the bad guys are Ra and um, uh, the guy from Moon Knight, the uh, Khonshu. And, and she does, the assassin gets hit. That's why she looks like Moon Knight is because those are the villains. So we get this little battle scene. Now, she also, the, the, the assassin hits her with some kind of a brain thing or whatever else. But instead of stabbing her, even though... She has a sword or dagger right on her hip. He decides to kick her anyway first. Not a very good assassin, man. Uh, and then she finally takes out the sword at the end. And then T'Challa shows up and takes and disarms her. And uh, he electrocutes her. But then something kills her completely, though. Something internal. So it's almost like biting on, uh, you know, uh, poison or whatever else so you don't get questioned. And uh, and then Okoye gives him the thing saying, Why didn't you tell me that you were alive? You know, you make me do all this and make me worry. Oh my God, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm just trying to figure out who the bad guys are. And now we found out that there's a hole in the door Malage. And he says, I want to introduce you to my new friends. So, welcome to my new friends. These are my new friends. And look at Storm there. That that does not look like Storm in any way, shape, or form. So, anyway, that's uh, that said. I, I like it, but it has holes. Uh, and it's really not getting moving very quickly. This is the first time we've seen action in a while and stuff like that. Probably would not make a good movie, uh, even though this, the Ultimate Spider-Man would, uh, because I like the new origin 
that still had goes back to the old one, when really here nothing has changed except for costumes and stuff like that. And we just really it's just a Black Panther story, whatever. So let's get into Cobra Commander. So this is the Energon universe. Uh, Skybound picked this up. Uh, Joshua Williamson, um, who is a little hit or miss for me, uh, has done a really good job with Duke and this one. So in the last issue, Cobra Commander is from Cobra Law. He had uh, Megatron locked up in Cobra Law. They kind of kick him out because he's looking for Energon. And he finds it in the swamp. He ends up fighting the Dreadnoughts, all this stuff. And then uh, it kind of overlays with Duke because Duke ends up uh, at Mars. Not the planet, but the company. Uh, M period, A period, etc. Who is, which is owned by Destro. And to get Destro's attention, uh, Cobra Commander decides that he's going to attack all the Mars bases. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. I guess he's kind of taking control of the bats, which are the uh, animatronic or whatever uh, android. Uh, I guess the, no, there's no Cobra yet, but those are like the Cobra uh, soldiers that are androids, but they're not yet because Cobra doesn't exist yet. So anyway, uh, Destro's like, "How? who's doing this? Whatever. And then uh, Buzzer or whatever else shows up and uh, or Ripper, I've got the guy's name. And uh, says, uh, I have a message for you. The guy's crazy, blah, blah, blah. And it's basically Cobra Commander saying that he wants to meet. And we meet in the middle, of, literally in the middle of the crossroads. And that's not lost on me, that this is the crossroads uh, of Cobra being established. And we have uh, uh, Destro in his full garb without the missiles on his uh, wrist. Of course, you know, why would he carry those around on his body? Uh, but anyway, he, uh, Cobra Commander shows up and says, Hey, welcome! Meanwhile, he's killed all of the guys except for the two. And the bodyguard, why, why he didn't kill the bodyguard, I don't know, but he didn't. And, uh, but he killed all the other soldiers. And uh, the guy grabs him by the throat. And he's like, well, you know, if you kill me, I'll let you live. And, you know, now I want you to hear me out. Because I want us to be friends. So he takes him to his lab, and he's like, oh, and this is the scientist. He loves being here. And if you see the scientist says, kill me to the guy. <laughs> so anyway, he shows them the, the bat that he stole and reprogrammed and the energy that he's creating through the Energon. And this is making Destro his wheels turn because he's like, oh, maybe, maybe this might be good. Uh, and he says, let me show you how it works. And he has the, uh, the bat basically kill <laughs> all of his own guys. <laughs> He's like, you're killing your own men. And he's like, ah, I got other men. I just wanted to show you that I could kill a whole bunch of people. And, uh, <laughs> he says, yeah, well, let's, let's do this. And the, the, the bodyguard is like, are you sure this guy's off his rocker, man? He's like, I need this stuff. Let's see where this goes. So we'll just keep him around for right now. And then we'll figure it out. And we we finally see Cobra Commander in his uh, his full garb, and we see all of uh, his troops that he's now enlisted, and we see the unveiling of the of the banner, and now he's like Cobra now exists, and that's I guess that's the start of Cobra, and I really like that. And then we have we go back to Cobra Law, and they're like. He's not coming back. We need to go collect him. Megatron has now escaped. And we get this last page. I don't understand what that is. But I guess we'll find out. But I don't understand what it is. So that's the end of that. And then, you know, we have Destro. And we have uh, Scarlet now is taking off uh, in their own little mini series. Uh, so they're doing... It's almost like they're doing, like, Marvel... Here's the origin story. Here's the, their individual one for this one. Here's the individual one for this one. And I guess they'll combine it all into one kind of book later when they're doing G.I. Joe uh, versus Cobra. Uh, that, you know, I don't... They're doing... A, I, Scarlet and uh, Stalker are my two favorite characters. You would think it would be Snake Eyes, but those are the actual my two favorites. And uh, the Scarlet's being done also... And uh, Kelly Thompson's writing it, and she's so hit and miss. I'm, I'm going to get it, but I have no high hopes for that at all. 
Uh, and then the Destro one might be good. I don't know. But William, uh, Josh Williamson's not doing any others. And I think that was kind of a mistake. I think they should have just left him on all of it and just take, kind of taken a break and then have him come on. Because he really, he kind of gets it. So, and I would love to see, you know, uh, a new G.I. Joe movie that's actually done well. So let's do a little recap. So Cobra Commander, yeah, loving it. Uh, I think the whole Energon universe is great. I don't collect Transformers, even though... A lot of people do and say it's great. So, Energon Universe, good job, guys. Uh, Ultimate Black Panther, no, this is really just a Black Panther story, and it's not really that interesting. Uh, and I don't even like the new costume or anything, and I definitely don't like what they did with Storm. And Wonder Woman, hell no, this is trash outside of the art. So, that's it for me, guys. Uh, that will be concluding uh, episode 110. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to give me a like and a uh, give me the thumbs up. And remember to subscribe. Ring that bell. Ding, ding. It is uh, free. No reason not to subscribe. I also do movie uh, reviews and etc. And also, uh, for, don't forget that in the link below, Myth Lords, Classic Monsters, we're going to be doing a solo playthrough on Wednesday night. You can also find that. Uh, link for the YouTube uh, thing in the description below. Uh, and here's the back. You get to play as any of the uh, commanders, which is Dracula, Frankenstein, Creature from the Deep, uh, Werewolf, etc. And then if you're a fan of uh, Wizard of Oz, we also have a Wizard of Oz expansion where you could play as uh, with the Wicked Witch of the West or Dorothy. There's also all the other characters in here like uh, the other witches from, you know, different north, uh, east, south, etc. And, uh, of course, Cowardly Lion and Tin Man, etc. Scarecrow. Anyway, check that all out in the link below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Check out some of my other videos as well. Have a good one, guys. All right, bye-bye.